So this was a video that I was kind of asked to make, put together, um, and it's talking about the Line 6 Helix Litigator. I've got an HX stomp down here, I don't know if it's going to be in short or not. And uh, a Carrier Tone Overtone Special, which is kind of a clone of the ODS-50, which is a Dumble Amp, and um, one of their more famous amps, I guess. Um, and I'm comparing the clean channel in this video. Um, and just talking briefly about the differences. Um, I'm quite surprised at how good the litigator sounds in comparison. Obviously in the room, it's a very, very different sound, um, mostly due to that kind of amp in the room thing, which if you're kind of new to modeling, um, it might be a, something that's quite difficult to get around, but basically any time you use a modeler, um, your speaker size generally goes way down, especially if you're using monitors. Now over there I've got, what is that, two 5-inch monitors versus one 12-inch in an open back cab. Um, there's a huge difference in like the amount of low end that you feel, um, and that's kind of an important part of guitar. Um, and there's also a big difference in terms of sheer volume, you know, um, Obviously, you're going to hear the tones direct, but in the room, the amp is considerably louder, even though I've only got it on master of about, well, it's less than one. Um, one of the key differences, so the litigator isn't specifically, I think, based on any one single amp, but more of an idea of what Dumble was doing. It's worth saying that the litigator has more drive on it than a clean channel of an ODS has. And I'm guessing that's because it's trying to cover both kind of channels of the ODS or, you know, maybe a different kind of flavor of Dumble Amp. Um, but to me, when you back the, the drive off to about four or three and a half, that's about where the drive I've got set on the carrier tone. I've got it set at just under seven. Um, that seems to be about kind of right. Uh, so, quite a bit more drive on the um, HX Stomp. I've not covered any driven tones as yet, um, just because volume-wise it's going to require me to, to kick things up a, a notch. Um, but I might do that at some stage if you think that's worth me doing. But I just wanted to show you um, some of the tones that the Helix and also the Carrier Tone can create. Um, I find both quite inspiring. Um, obviously, this amp is potentially incredibly loud. Uh, I've got it at, you know, speaking volume-ish. But when you boost it with, uh, so I'm boosting it with a Prince of Tone here. just gets louder rather than kind of compressing um, so it's got you know crazy amounts of headroom It also doesn't have a built-in reverb, so I'm using an Earthquaker device's Afterneath in front of it at the moment. 
Uh, in the comparison, I have no reverb on at all because people tell me that that's one of the things that they get annoyed about, or some people tell me. Um, obviously, as a player, I prefer to play with reverb. Um, but I've also put together a little preset, um, which will be in the description if you want to check it out. Um, and I'll do some playing. <laughs>
hopefully this is vaguely interesting. Uh, let me know in the comments if there's kind of specific comparisons you want me to do. I'm considering doing this kind of thing with the Mezaboogie Lone Star as well, because uh, obviously both channels are um, cloned or modelled in the Helix, so I thought maybe that might be vaguely interesting, but let me know what you think. Um, but hopefully this was uh, kind of gives you a sense of what's going on. Um, I think one of the cool things about the Helix is that you can do a dual cab thing and that kind of thickens up the tone a little bit more um, versus, you know, just placing one condenser mic in front of the carrier tone. Um, but I think both sound pretty good to my ears, so I guess that's a win. Um, hopefully this video was vaguely interesting. Uh, if you could like and subscribe if it was. There's also uh, all of my Helix and Podgo patches in the description um, and you could use the buy me a coffee link but only if you've got something useful out of this video, enjoyed it or want to support the channel in some way and if you can afford it, only do it in those cases. Um, now I'm going to play you out the courier tone. Thanks for watching.